Dear respective farmers, this is Fu, pharmacist of Fangtung Animal Pharmaceuticals, Southwest University. Today, I would like to talk about a medication for meningitis or cattle. Firstly, you should know there are two types of meningitis, acute and chronic. Acute meningitis have typical signs, such as falling to the ground, nerve twinge, obstetolus, upturned eyes, and other obvious symptoms. If discovered in time, medication on time, there is possibility of cure. However, if the disease not discovered in time, the effect of treatment will not be good. Poor prognosis usually occurs. Colic meningitis means that animals have symptoms, but not that typical. No obvious signs like unable to stand or obvious opus sotanus. It just shows signs like panic, non paddling depressed, or excitement. Active treatment is needed when animal develops meningitis. Usually we will apply IV administration because it is a faster way. Idea is like this. Manito 20%, 750 to 2000 ml according to the weight and severity of the symptom of the cattle. Glucose solution 50%, 500 ml. Sulfadiazine 10%, 200 to 500 ml. This calculation is also based on the weight of the cattle. This is also 40 mg to 50 mg. All above medicines are injected intravenously and one time for 5 to 7 days. And you should reduce the dose of sulfadiazine and disamisasone gradually after first infusion. At this point, I would like to switch that. Why we use sulfadiazine? Because among all other medicines, sulfadiazine has best power to penetrate the brain barrier. If we don't have sulfadiazine, then we use poor campanacin water resolution, give injection through and to lend to occipital joint. So medicine enter spinal cavity directly. The effect is also good. This is for meningitis caused by bacteria, which is the majority. For those caused by viruses, like in cephalotis B, antibacterial agents has no direct effect, only play the role of prevention of secondary infection. This is for your reference. Pay attention to Fangtong Animal Pharmaceuticals, enjoying an easy farming. Thank you.